Joliet volleyball team has some fresh faces, graduating a core group of seniors that brought home three trophies from the State B tournament in four years. The Jayhawks haven't experienced much of a drop off though. You're seeing girls that have been underneath them growing to be as good as they were because they got to play with them all those years. So I don't think you ever replace a group of girls. I think you just, they fill in the holes, but every girl brings something special to the team, so. Joliet plays in one of the most competitive districts in the state. His rival Huntley Project met the Jayhawks for the district, divisional, and state title games last season. Project is the premier Class B volleyball program, and with two losses to the Red Devils this season, that's still Joliet's measuring stick. They're definitely a fun competition, and so if we're at their level, it's going to be and I don't know, just uh, definitely try our best to I would watch what they do, you know, what kind of uh, offense they're running. It took a while to figure some stuff out on my side of it, too, but you just playing good teams makes it better. With so many new faces in the rotation for the Jayhawks, there were expected to be some bumps in the road throughout the regular season. Now, as the postseason approaches, though, Joliet should be rounding into championship form. It's a young team. I've got two seniors, so I expect them to be phenomenal by the end because we have lots of growing to do. Joliet undoubtedly has its sights set on the all-class state volleyball tournaments next month in Bozeman. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.